This is the BrewTubers Online Brewers Club 2022 Hops Experiment, Hoppy Blonde Ale. Thanks to our sponsors, Imperial Yeast, Beer and Wine Hobby Homebrew Supply Store, Brewers Hardware, Five Star Chemicals, and Yakima Valley Hops. Get brewing. Hey guys, what is up? ICMW here. We have our six and final installment of our BrewTubers online homebrewers club, BrewTubers.com. Join the Discord. Join the club. Um, this is our uh, hop experiment series. And today we have, again, our sixth and final beer. Um, we'll also be doing a seventh video. Um, just as kind of a synopsis wrap up. Impressions, now that we've tried all of them. Um, what are our thoughts? What are our impressions? We'll do a ranking. Um, so far, all the beers have been good. Um, so, <laughs> I mean, a six-way tie for first place, maybe, but um, we'll see. This one's from Dave, Big Dog Brewing, out of Rochester, New York. Um, another can here. Uh, again, if you don't know already, we all brew the same beer. Blondale, Hoppy Blondale, big charge of um, hops in the Whirlpool, and we all use different hop products to make them. Um, we had uh, T90 pellets, we had Lupo Max, and we have Incognito Hop Oil. And this one's using the Mosaic Incognito Hop Oil. So um, excited to try this. Um, we'll see what how it tastes compared to the other um, different hot products. Um, I've already done the Citra version of Incognito um, and that one was really interesting because it had um, lots of flavor and aroma but very little bitterness compared to the other hot products. So we'll see how this beer is from Dave and we'll see if we have a similar experience to the Citra version. So let's do it. Nice carb on that one. I didn't pour all that aggressive, but kind of trying to make up for it at the end there. This beer is very clear. This is one of the more clear beers we've had in the experiment so far. So great job, Dave. Awesome clarity on that. Um, and again, this is a pretty simple recipe. Um, two row, white wheat, honey malt. Um, experiment hops and um, a little bit of centennial just to give it some bitterness um, sorry um, anyway let's uh go for a sip on this thing well the smell first so oh boy yeah wow that has got a lot of aroma Ooh, yeah that's um like a sweet berry, like a um, raspberry, um, maybe blackberry smell in there, a little bit of like peach. Wow, that's a, it's like almost like, sur like surprising how much aroma I'm getting off this beer. Um, wow, that's really great. So again, that's in line with what I experienced with uh, the Citra version. Like it had a lot of aroma too. Um, it was just a little lower on the bitterness, but yeah, definitely getting that that fruit, that berry character um, more so I'd say than I got on the T90 or the Lupa Max. So that's interesting. <laughs> interesting. Um, let's go for it. Cheers. Oh, wow. Interesting. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of, like, sweet fruit. A lot of berry. Wow, this is impressive. Dave, 
great beer. Wow, this is really, really good. <laughs> um, <laughs> kind of just like jock at how much flavor this has because this is so this was canned on 10 13 october 13th 2022 um that is two months ago today is december 12th it's almost exactly two months ago so again, we ship these beers around. This is the last beer I'm trying. I got them all on the same day. Well, except for mine, obviously. Um, so I've been trying them over time. I didn't do it all in one shot, right? But like, this beer has tons of mosaic flavor. Like classic mosaic, berry, stone fruit, sweet fruit flavor. Um, I'm not getting like the blueberry, like a lot of times you'll, you'll have blueberry associated with uh, Mosaic, and I have gotten that in other beers, um, not so much here, but like, again, a lot of that same character. This is impressive how much we got, considering that this beer's a little older, and like I talked about with mine when I reviewed mine, it, it faded from when I first tapped the keg to when I actually sampled the beer which one of the probably one of the last pours out of that keg um in order to do the review so like it faded but this is absolutely popping two months later so um great job dave <laughs> and um great job yakima valley because incognito jeez um i will say also in line with the citra um less bitterness you know not um not as bitter as, definitely not as bitter as Lupa Max, and also probably less bitter than the T90 pellets as well. So, like, that's impressive. Like, right, if you want to add a bunch of flavor of aroma and you want to really cut down that bitterness, maybe Inkai Needle is the way to go. Like, this is impressive. Yeah, wow. Like, it almost tastes like there's some sort of adjunct. Like, you brewed with fruit. <laughs> That's how, like, strong of, like, a fruit flavor I'm getting on this. And it's not estery. I don't know. It's, like, it's definitely a hop aroma thing. And, like, granted, we used Imperial House Yeast. Super clean. I'm sure Dave did a great job fermenting it at a appropriate temperature, etc., but really impressive, really enjoying this beer. Um, great job, Dave. I think, now, I'm gonna make another video, but no spoilers, but I think it's pretty clear which, which beer I'm gonna pick as my, my top spot. Um, but yeah, it's really impressive, so. Um, yeah, so a lot of food for thought here. I'll give a recap um, in another video talking about my impressions for the whole thing, um, giving a ranking of all my beers. But um, yeah, um, anyway, um, thanks again to all the brewers, all six beers, well, myself included, to the five other brewers sending me their beer. Really appreciate it. Everyone was fantastic, really. There wasn't a bad beer in the bunch. Um, it's going to kind of <laughs> be painful to rank because like, they were all really good. I would be happy to have five gallons of any of these beers on tap, but it's got to be a winner and a loser, apparently, so um, we'll do that. Um, so thanks again. Thanks to BrewTubers, BrewTubers.com. Get in the Discord. Chat it up with Dave. Learn his secrets. And uh, maybe you can participate in the next uh, hop experiment, so um, yeah, it's, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this beer now. Cheers.